In this video, I'm going to be talking about three dangers of self-improvement, and I hope you enjoy. Now, the first way in which self-improvement can become dangerous is if you start indulging in sin because of it, okay? So, for example, you've been hitting the gym for a few years, you've been consistent with your skincare routine, you've been consistently getting fresh haircuts, and so your looks have improved by a lot. And now you start partying again, you start drinking alcohol, you start taking drugs. If partying and attracting low-level girls was the reason you started self-improvement, then you probably started for the wrong reasons in my opinion. It's okay to have that as a motivation in the beginning, but at some point you should realize that taking drugs and partying is not going to get you anywhere in life. It's not going to get you to where you want to be in life if you're on self-improvement. There are actually a bunch of examples of successful guys becoming degenerates and indulging in degenerate behaviors after they become successful. But in my opinion, this isn't a good thing and you shouldn't look up to those kinds of people. Self-improvement is about becoming the best version of yourself and the best version of yourself definitely doesn't drink and go to parties and take drugs there just to attract some 4 out of 10 girl so you can sleep with her. So just keep that in the back of your mind. And if you have friends that are starting to indulge in sin, indulging in degeneracy, you should tell them and tell them that they're on the wrong path because it's also your duty to help your brothers. Now, the second way in which self-improvement can become dangerous is that some people become complacent or lazy after achieving their goals. So, for example, if you set the goal to make 1k a month of passive income online and you reach that goal and you just completely stop working on that side hustle, you've effectively stopped improving and I don't think that for most people 1k a month is the end goal. I think that people want to earn more than that. I think there's always something better to strive for and achieving small goals shouldn't make you lazy, shouldn't make you complacent. There's always something to improve and in my opinion people should be lifelong learners and so there's always something to learn and something to improve and for some people, money isn't everything. That is true. And if you're happy with 1k a month and you have a job that you really enjoy, that you really like, of course, continue doing that. But don't stop improving just because you've reached your goals. Your goals should be so big that you work towards them for a lifetime. Your goals should not be reached in one to two years. If your end goal is reached in less than five years, then the goal wasn't big enough. You need to set goals that seem almost unachievable and then work towards them. And that's how you truly become the best version of yourself. Some people, for example, completely stop going to the gym after they... For example, completely stopping going to the gym after you've reached a certain level, after you've built a certain amount of muscle, after you have an aesthetic body, is not the way to go about it. Because if you completely stop going to the gym, you're going to lose that muscle. And everything you've built up, up until then, is just going to vanish. And so, you shouldn't completely stop what you're doing, but rather do less of it so you can maintain, right? It's the same way with meditation, for example. If your mental health at the moment is good because of meditation, because of gratitude journaling, you shouldn't stop doing it because your mental health is gonna degrade again, right? The only reason that your mental health is good at the moment is because you were doing the good habits regularly. And so once you reach a certain point that's the point where you need to continue that's when you need to keep going and not the point where you need to stop and my third point is that 
there is more to life than self-improvement. I've been talking a lot about the importance of not stopping and how important it is to keep going and achieving your goals. But your goals don't all have to be concerning self-improvement, right? I think it's important for everyone to find their passion in life, to find out what their true calling is, what they really want to do for the rest of their lives, and then do that thing. I just also think that self-improvement is a very good way to ensure that you actually can do those things that you were meant to do. For example, if you really love music, you love singing, you love playing an instrument, and you truly think that that's your calling, and you want to do that for the rest of your life. Having earned money and being financially free, financially independent, is gonna make it so much easier for you to actually achieve that goal of becoming a musician. Because at that point, you don't have to worry about whether or not you can pay your bills, because you already have enough money. You have enough money for yourself, for your family, you can retire your parents, and so you can focus 100% of your energy on achieving that one goal. You can focus everything on just your passion. You can truly follow your passion because you don't have anything else to worry about. You don't have to worry about paying the bills. So what I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't make self-improvement your whole life. You should find your passion and you should follow it. But I think that finding your passion and following your passion is much easier when you're on self-improvement. If you're constantly depressed and you have a bunch of debt, you're not gonna be able to follow your passion because you have more important things to worry about. If you don't have enough money to feed yourself or to feed your family, then you don't have time to worry about what you truly want in life. So, I hope you got some value from this video. If you didn't, make sure to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.